This is a 21-foot 1975 Winnebago Brave motorhome. I grew up in a family that every summer we would go on a family vacation in a motorhome. But one thing I've never seen is a four-wheel drive Winnebago. And this is like the quintessential motorhome. This is like the Cadillac of motorhomes from back in the 70s. They say that this is the motorhome that still lasts where all the other motorhomes fall apart. I had a motorhome just like this for my first motorhome. Yeah? It was a 32-foot Winnebago Brave. Well, the reason I went with a 21-foot is we're gonna make this thing four-wheel drive. I bought a Dana 60, I bought a divorce transfer case. We're gonna stuff it all underneath this thing and go four-wheel. Dude, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we looked over the motorhome. It seems like there's a lot of new things on it. Like the alternator looks new, the starter looks new but we got a new everything anyways. Um, we got a new starter, we ordered a new fuel pump, we got a bunch of fuel filters. We're gonna put a f new fuel tank and fuel hoses to the engine and try and just make the thing run and drive. So right here in the passenger seat is a fuel tank out of a boat that's running to an electric Earl's fuel pump. So I'm gonna hold the ground against the engine block. Dave's gonna crank the engine over. It's gonna turn on the electric fuel pump and pump fuel to the carb. The entire RV reeks of gas fumes. Hopefully it won't blow fuel and explode under our faces. Go ahead and... <laughs> it probably has enough fuel in it now to run. Just crank it, Dave. <laughs> We did it! We did a thing again! We played engine! We're engine masters! <laughs> yeah, good work. Yes! The goal is have the tires stuff up inside the body. We're willing to trim a little bit in the front, but we're hoping it will all work without having to trim too much of that really classic Winnebago style. It's awesome! It looks so cool. Take it from the bottom to the top. Bead locks are tight, lug nuts are tight. They're tight, sort of. Front and rear axles have oil, transfer case has oil, transmission has ATF, engine has oil. Uh -huh. Brakes have brake fluid, brakes are all bled. Drive shafts are all in, and I built a shifter contraption. Steering is all tight. I think we're at the point where we just need to hook up the battery. Fire it up. Fire it up and see what it does. Cranking. Motorhome coming through. Good hill climb here. Oh yeah, it's gonna climb it. We've got this. It felt like the transmission just fell out for a second. There we go. Locked in now. Where are these rocks at you're taking us to? We're gonna do some hill climbing first. If there's one thing that Winnebago's are good at, it's hill climbing. High horsepower, a lot of wheel speed. Come on, girl. It doesn't sound happy. It's going, though. We made it farther than the other Winnebago's. Why aren't we still going up the hill? We're not even running. The battery's sounding mad, too. Mm. Pretty much everything's mad. I got fuel. Yeah, peel out. Peel rubber, man. Oh, yeah. That's way better. You're going to need to stay in it. <laughs> you ready, Dave? What could go wrong? 
What you do wrong now? It hasn't gone wrong already. We're stuffing an LS7 in the Winnebago. This is the same Winnebago that we made four-wheel drive like a year or two years ago. Yeah. It's got big Dana axles. It's got a 205 transfer case, and it's got a pile of junk 440 in it that we're going to yank out. We're going to give it like 700 horsepower. We're going to be real car guys, and we're going to do burnouts. And the Winnebago's making a comeback, and it's going to be rad this time. It's going to be rad, just like us. Yeah, rad yep. and old. We're going to LS Fest. Let's get it in the shop. All right. <laughs> One of the problems with the Winnebago is it's really heavy. So anything we can do to lighten up the Winnebago will make it perform way better off-road. So we're gonna yank this old generator out of the back. Oh boy. So we're that much lighter. We're gonna try and get it running, get it in the shop, and get any garbage inside that we don't want with us. Less weight, more fun. Yank out the old engine and put in a new one. Look at that thing bend. All right. We got a lot of motor in a little tiny hole. I mean, the bumper's got to come off. Okay. Because the hole out here gets really small. This cross member on the front of the frame usually would come out in order to pull the engine out. But when we did the four-wheel drive conversion, we welded the suspension cross member to the bottom of that cross member. So everything's welded to the frame. So we're gonna have to go through, cut all the cross members out, pull all the engine and transmission out, and then weld it all back in before we go four-wheeling. <laughs> What's it hitting on now? Um, the exhaust manifolds and the power steering lines. How hard is it to get the exhaust manifold off? Probably not too hard. Come on. Radical. Coming out now. Yeah. Come on. Something's still catching on the driver's side. There she goes. Lift up. All right. Yay. You can you can let her go. Yay, mess. <laughs> kind of hold it up, and then I'm going to lower the front of the engine down, and hopefully the engine hoist and the oil pan will be small enough to fit in the engine house. Come on. Coming down just a hair. There. It's gonna walk right in now. Get in there. Look at that. It's kind of like birthing a baby water buffalo, but in reverse. Okay, that should be goodish. You might be able just to like bench press the back up. All right. You want to come push this in and I'll go under and bench press? Heck yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. Now come in. Stop. How's it look right there? Um, I think we're good. I like it. I'm going to start making a training mount. All right, so we got some conversion mounts from Holly to put this LS in something, but it doesn't fit in a Winnebago, so I'm making these brackets on the frame. They're kind of like the standoffs it had, but they're all different shape. So it's all 3 16 plate, drilled holes, gussets. I'm welding it all up right now.
Sting. Woo-hoo!